I am definitely digging deep in this segment here. First of all, let's introduce all of our players. You are Kim Richvine. Of course, we know Kim, and you are. I'm uh, Jack Gorman with Scott Harvey Wines. And Tracy Burknor with Taste Restaurant and Wine Bar. Okay, and you guys are all on 49. Yes. So first of all, there's a huge event coming up in March. You want to talk about it? Absolutely. Yeah, we have um, an event called Come Out to Amador coming up March 24th to the 26th. Um, this is a curated LGBT food and wine weekend up in the foothills. So um, we have events going on all weekend long. Um, it's a, a ticketed purchase, so you buy a ticket, and it basically includes most things for the whole weekend. Um, hiking in a vineyard, lots of wine, uh, wine related, different wine related events, um, and then we capstone on Saturday with a fantastic um, five course chef's menu. Each course is paired with both a beer and a wine. Cue uh, this, yes. yes. <laughs> um, and, and that's where you come in. Now let's talk about it. You you say it's more important to pair the beer and the wine together before you even put in the food. Absolutely, because what you have is a lot of chemistry going on with the food, the wine, and the beer together. And so the most important thing is to make sure that the beer and the wine uh, connect together. And I that never they even, I, th I think of it as oil and water. I would mm -hmm. never put the two together. They actually go really well together. Really? And you think about in textures, so textures of the beer, textures of the wine, and uh, it really goes together. And then you add in the, the Let's food. Let's see, what did you bring today? So, what kind of variety? So this is our first course for the beer versus wine dinner, and it's a seared Aura King salmon with local mandarin oranges from Newcastle, uh, uh, King Richard Leeks, and um, some shiso, which is is um, a Japanese um, cousin of the cilantro, mm -hmm. and then we really? put that right over that. And and the shiso is what really kind of binds everything in, gives and it then that extra flavor. The citrus, the citrus, uh, then adds another dim uh, dimension to it. And what kind of beer and wine would you pair together with that meal? So here we have the Cedar Creek Ranch uh, Viognier. From El Dorado Fair Play area. And then we also have Amador Brewing, and then this is their Citrico IPA. Really? And so you have a little bit of citrus um, with the mandarin, and then a Citrico hop. Um, which has a citrus type flavor. So do you do the wine first or do you do the beer first in the tasting? We do the wine and the beer together. What do you mean? You like hold it up? What do you mean? You do it together. <laughs> you like, taste you taste the wine. Like you taste, you taste, taste the do beer. You keep it in your mouth? No. Like, I've never heard you, of this. Like this you, is fascinating. You put you put a little bit in your mouth so you have a little residual. Okay, okay so you have a little bit of both so you yeah. can taste all the component yeah. flavors. And sometimes they fight each other and sometimes they love each other. So okay. we just find the ones that love each other. <laughs> just like any happy couple, right? <laughs> exactly. Love each other and you hate each other. <laughs> uh, all right, Kim. So tell us about all the other things that are happening on 49. So there's some really great things going on. So we um, wine on 49 is um, Sutter Creek. We have 10 fabulous tasting rooms in Sutter Creek, and um, in addition to this, the tasting rooms, we also have some lovely boutiques. We have the Antique Gardener. We have the Fine Eye Gallery. We have um, some great restaurants, antique shops. Bed and breakfast. So it's, it's a, not. It's a great little staycation weekend. It's a great you staycation weekend. You know, it's not going to break the bank, and exactly. you're supporting local wineries and businesses. Exactly. And something for everyone. Thank you guys so much. Oh, who, who knew? I never would have done that before. Uh, We're yeah. in together. More you know. Back to you. <laughs>